16-year-old Angela Mendez and 17-year-old Catalina Martinez work side by side in a lab at UC San Diego. They're quiet and methodical among the whirring machines, lost in the process of transforming carbon black and polyethylene into a thin film. We're working towards making batteries safer, so we're creating a thermal responsive polymer switching film, which is a coating that will go around a lithium ion battery to prevent it from overheating. Think exploding cell phones and hoverboards in flames. These high schoolers are spending their summer working on a possible solution to that. It's part of a seven-week program called Enlace that brings together high school and college students from both sides of the border to collaborate in some 60 labs across campus. These four universities from Baja came. Engineering professor Olivia Greve directs the program. I place them in laboratories in pairs with the intent of having them build these human bridges across um, across the border using science and engineering as a tool to get them to engage, to get them to know each other, to get them to participate in the development of knowledge. <laughs> One might expect to see a study in contrast, white, black and Asian students learning from their Mexican counterparts and vice versa. But the vast majority of U.S. students in Enlace are Mexican-American and speak Spanish. Just like her lab partner from Baja, Mendez crosses the border regularly to shop or see family. Although we're from different sides of the border, I think we're pretty much the same. Her partner, Martinez, has to search when asked about differences between the two. Maybe here you can go hang out with your friends after school and you don't usually do that in Mexico because it's not the safest thing to do. I think at the end of the day, the culture is still pretty strong on this side of the border, even though we're still separated by a wall. And that's the thing. The San Diego Baja region already defies its borders to some extent. And La Save is about taking that to the next level. So it is beyond just family crossing over and visiting family on both sides of the border. It's about thinking about this as one economic region and one region of innovation that can educate its young people to contribute to both sides of the border in the areas of science and engineering. As activists stage rallies to protest President Donald Trump's border policies, businesses and their boosters are urging the president to consider our shared economy. In a report last month, UC San Diego researchers detailed $6.2 billion in goods that American and Mexican companies produce in tandem. What kind of society would take young people who want to work hard and make a contribution to all of us and say we're going to push you into the shadows. Educators, too, are taking a stand to protect what immigrant students and millions of dollars in cross-border research bring to their campuses. Greve, who grew up in Tijuana, hopes to build a future where those things aren't at stake. The impact of having these students, future leaders, future diplomats, future scientists, future Nobel laureates, know each other since they were 17 years old is gigantic. And so for me, bringing these young people together for seven weeks and have them develop these true, honest and pure friendships is a gigantic goal that will eventually, in my view, change U.S.-Mexico relations. Friends since they were 17. That's it. That's the goal. <laughs> Yeah. If that's true of Mendez and Martinez, they'll make a powerhouse team. My dream college is MIT, but another option I think I could go to is Berkeley, and I want to study chemical engineering. Like I have very high dreams for like Stanford or stuff like that, but I'm thinking probably UCLA. Or um, I was also I also find myself very drawn towards Cal Poly. This is the program's sixth year. It's grown from just five students to more than 100 this year. Megan Burks, KPBS News.